with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. You can retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot. You are now airborne. Now. Navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start! Well done! On the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please follow my instructions very closely. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air. But be careful not to stall the engines. Executed like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. That was an excellent landing! Very well done! When I give you the 
signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay. Perform a knife edge on the other side. Level out the plane. <laughs> that was an amazing run. You should be very proud of yourself. So, 
We'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. Good job! Hard to believe you were only a beginner not that long ago! You've been doing so well in the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. Let's go on a short tour of the city, and we'll see how well you handle the chopper. Follow the marked course, and remember, I'm looking for maneuverability, but also speed.
Here's the landing pad. Go ahead and set her down nice and easy. Nicely done.
with that. That was pretty close. This lesson will involve skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> The target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully, and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck, so take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. You 
got this. 